brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Okay, my friends, we are back, and as promised, Dr. Yit Kalam from Express Care has once again graced our Harmon Studios with her presence, and she is lending her knowledge on all things medical to us tonight. And tonight, Doctor, we are talking about headaches. Yep. Certainly something that everybody's experienced in varying degrees, and I guess that's kind of the key point. There are different types of headaches, and for sure with different um, intensity and everything like that. So generally speaking, and we'll start with the obvious question, what causes a someone to have a headache? Well, it just depends on the type of headache. We have the three main types, which are migraines, tension headaches, and cluster headaches. They all have a little bit of a different cause. For example, tension headaches, they're the most common. They affect men and women equally. They tend to occur sort of in a band around the head here, and they tend to be related to muscle tension, also um, psychological or emotional tension. Mm -hmm. And, um, and they don't tend to have vomiting and nausea associated with them like migraine headaches. So migraine headaches are triggered by various things including stress and certain foods. Sometimes certain medication can trigger them. And they cause a headache that's one-sided only. Mm -hmm. um, the word migraine actually comes from the Greek word for half the head. Okay, and that means that just Good half your know. head is affected. Yeah, All right. and medicine uh, and linguistics. Yeah, and, there you and go. Language. <laughs> so migraine headaches um, tend to occur sort of um, gradually. There's an uh, pro, what we call a prodrome, where you kind of know that you're about to get a headache. Sometimes people have some visual symptoms, or flashing lights, or zigzaggy lines, or strange um, uh, auditory symptoms mm -hmm. before. Then they'll get the one-sided headache, which is really very severe and they might have nausea and vomiting and not be able to tolerate uh, sound and light. And then cluster headaches are a really quite unusual headache, but they are the most severe of the headaches. They tend to be called like a suicide headache because it's so terribly intense. Um, it tends to occur right behind the eye, either side, uh, very sudden onset within a minute or so, and uh, tearing, excruciating pain, lasting only maybe 15 minutes to one hour, but uh, excruciating pain. And um, then they called cluster because they'll occur every day at the same time for a few weeks, 9 or 10 p.m. or in the afternoon, some, some people between 1 and 3 p.m., but most people in the evening time before bed just agonizing, excruciating headache. And the interesting thing is the, treat, the most effective treatment for those is oxygen. And well, that, uh, that's interesting because if you said it happens on like somewhat of a scheduled or a regimented yeah. basis and everything, is it not caused by some environmental factor? Um, cluster headaches, really nobody exactly knows why they occur. Um, they again tend to be associated with emotional stress. All headaches that are primary headaches, meaning they're not related to like a brain tumor or trauma to your head, a, mm -hmm. a car crash or something like that. Uh, primary headaches are just headaches where no test in the world will show you that there's something wrong in the body. You can do a CT scan, you can do x-rays, you can do blood tests. Nothing's wrong, but you feel extreme pain. And you can see the mind-body-spirit connection there mm -hmm. um, very, very clearly when people have headaches. Okay. Now that's interesting because you defined headaches in three categories, of course, but undefined, according to you, yeah. were sinus headaches and something we've talked about before in the past, which are hangovers. I, I yeah. assume that hangovers come under a certain category, yeah. but what about sinus headaches? Right. So then the, there are about 150 d different kinds of headaches okay. altogether. So the three top, top three categories were just the ones I mentioned. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sinus headaches d due to pressure, headaches due to your high blood pressure, headaches um, uh, from hangovers or from other drugs or toxins that you've been taking. For example, uh, some people when they smell nail polish or nail polish remover or certain uh, paint thinners, so mm. on will get headaches from those. So there are many things that can trigger off a headache. Okay. Yeah. Now how about um, caffeine headaches? Because I know some people get caffeine withdrawal headaches when they haven't had you know their cup of joe for the day yep. but you know some people even say like um, I've heard of some people say they have a headache when they consume caffeine if they're not used to it. That's true because um, it's dose response right mm -hmm. so one cup of coffee might have about a hundred milligrams of caffeine in it and um, let's say you're drinking three a day you're used to getting your 300 milligrams of, ca of caffeine every single day and then one day you don't drink that and your body's in withdrawal you may get a headache on the other hand, if you never drink coffee and then you take, you know, a little bit, uh, you, you may experience a, a migraine headache that's triggered just by that caffeine. So it's very individual. It depends on the person. Okay, very interesting. Now, you know, of course, we have to go to commercial break before we get to our Facebook qu questions. But one word answer um, as far as caffeine headaches, is it better to wean off caffeine or cold turkey? 
Wean off gradually. Wean? Okay. Yeah. All right, good. Well, we have a lot to talk about about headaches, and you know, we do have the community questions, so stay tuned, my friends. One of the more interesting topics we've dealt with right here on Healthy Living Tuesdays. Do not miss what's coming up next. Your questions.